Welcome back, guys. Thanks for answering the question I asked you yesterday. Now we're going to go over the answer. So if you answered that you would send the ball to one or two on the other side of the net, well, you were right. And we're going to see why in a second. Who's playing in position five? That's right. It's the libero, the best passer on the court. So if you send the ball to five, you're pretty much saying, hey, guys, let's just you know, take the ball, make your play, and just smash that ball back at us, okay? So maybe sending the ball to five is not the best choice. Also, your setter is going to have the ball in front of them, and they're going to see the whole play. They're going to see their hitter, the blockers on the other side of the net, and they get the chance to run a good play. If you answered position two or one, you were right. It's the right answer. Why? Well, because who plays in position one and two? Usually the setter and the right side. If the setter takes the ball, then the other team needs to have a non-setter setting the ball, which gives your team the advantage during this point. If the right side takes the ball, if you're able to send that ball just short enough, well, you will have the right side taken out of the plate, which again gives your team the advantage. Another thing is when the ball is coming from behind you, we've talked about this in another video, the setter is going to have to square off to their target. So the ball coming back, I'm looking away, Okay, so I can't see what's going up on this side of the net. I don't know about the blockers. And I'm going to have the run, square off my shoulders, make sure I give a good set. So it's complicated for the setter when you send that ball to two and one. And this is why two and one was the right answer. So now that you know why sending the ball to position two or to position one is the right answer, I know that you're going to do it in your next practice and your next game. Really try to think about that because it's a way that you can give the advantage to your team. Just be careful about one thing though. Make sure that if the setter is front row, you send the ball just deep enough. Because if you don't, well, this might happen. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you later for another tip of the week. Ben could for sure hit that ball harder. Don't forget to subscribe guys and come back next week for a tip on diving.